So the first most important thing uh, for a patient with mitral valve disease is that they get an effective and long-lasting repair. The second part of the conversation involves how do we approach the mitral valve in order to affect that repair. So the mitral valve sits sort of behind the right nipple and faces over to the left armpit. So if you wanted to look right on the mitral valve or on faucet the mitral valve, you'd be looking from over by the left armpit. Most people do mitral valve surgery through the front of the chest by sawing the breastbone. It turns out that's a difficult way actually to see that valve because you've got to rotate the inside of the heart to even get a view of it. And sometimes that rotation can distort the valve and make it harder to examine. Uh, least invasive mitral valve approaches involve two sort of different philosophies. One is that we're still going to do it through the front through a smaller incision. And that's usually done by dividing half the breastbone typically the bottom half of the breastbone, and that's called a hemisternotomy. And some centers call that minimally invasive mitral valve surgery. It's true that it's less invasive than a full sternotomy, but it's not minimally invasive. Less invasive than that would be an approach which comes all the way over to the, right, uh, to the left side of the patient and looks right into the mitral valve. And to do that, we need some special instruments because although we have a clear view of the valve, it's quite a distance away from our incisions. And so we've been using the Da Vinci system to assist us in having dexterity that, at that distance and doing mitral valve repairs with really small incisions uh, below the right armpit and some additional uh, port sites for the instruments. The interesting thing is with experience, um, that operation actually has a higher repair rate than either of the approaches from the front. And I think that's because we're having a magnified view of the valve in its natural orientation and because of the de added dexterity of that instrumentation, we're able to do more complex work on the valve. The operation ultimately is the same. The same materials are put in on the valve, the same types of stitches are used. So functionally, we're not compromising. In fact, we may be benefiting uh, the operation. But the benefit to the patient, which is almost incidental, is that they don't have any bones broken in their chest in order to have the repair done. So mitral valve repair surgery uh, is invasive surgery by its nature. We have to work inside of the heart. Uh, but I think one of the reasons we've seen a 300% growth in our mitral valve repairs at St. Elizabeth's this year is because patients are now smarter and they're trying to understand their options and they're seeking out less invasive options. So after a typical uh, mitral valve repair done through a sternotomy where the breastbone is sawed, a patient could expect to be in the hospital four or five days, maybe six, and they could expect about four to six weeks to recover before they could get back to desk work and maybe longer if they had an occupation where they were physically active. So the most common patients that I see that are coming to us specifically to ask for less invasive options are people who simply can't afford or don't want to take that amount of time off of, of their lives. Uh, these are people with children, their own businesses, people who are anxious to get back to work and back to, uh, back to their normal activities. So in the patients in whom we're able to do the operation through a less invasive approach, most find that they're able to get back to most activities at about three weeks. Uh, everyone's different, uh, but uh, many, many patients tell me that uh, at about three weeks, they're in a similar uh, place that I would have expected them to be at about six weeks after a traditional operation. So on average, people who have mitral valve repair done through small incisions uh, lose less blood, spend less time in the ICU in the hospital, and get back to work quicker. And so that's obviously um, a real advantage to patients. And I think it's important to mention that we're doing this operation, I believe, as well or better than we could do through a larger incision because of uh, the better visualization and the better techniques and dexterity we can have underneath the valve. In mitral valve replacement, we cut out uh, the patient's valve and we sew a new one in. Uh, we usually do some things to try to preserve some of the architecture inside the heart, like reattach the cords inside the heart to the mitral valve replacement device. Mitral valve repair is very different. In mitral valve repair, typically parts of the mitral valve aren't working correctly or aren't supported correctly, but the majority of the valve is. In those cases, we often resect or remove the part that's not working properly and put everything else back together so the valve can function normally again.